17. All right, let's start with the resistance pattern. This is the slave slash master relationships and restriction of speech. So what does that mean? Well, it's relationships where one person is playing the role of the slave and another person is playing the role of the master. And with this resistance pattern, you could be on either side. Oftentimes it's the slave, but it can also be the master as well. It's something where the dynamic is not healthy and one side has more, if not almost all the power, and the other has less, if not basically no power. Unhealthy. And the resistance pattern will lead people together like that because it's like the resistance pattern is basically like the subconscious like signal that's saying, hey, use me as a slave, use me as a slave. And then that, that slave master links up. So the key of this resistance pattern is to recognize the relationship where that's happening. Where is there, is an, ex where is there an extreme imbalance of power? And what's your role in it? Because ultimately, you're not here to stay in that. You're here to break free and to be in freedom and to have balanced relationships where people can come together as equal, have different skill sets, have different expertises, and be at the table as equals. And an important key part of breaking free from those relationships is using your speech, speaking up first for yourself. And as a person does that with the 17, they speak up for what they need. They speak up for the imbalance of power. Then they're able to claim their freedom and speak later on, speak on behalf of those who can't. And of course, depending on the slave-master relationship, there's a certain... I mean, this can get very extreme, right? This can be a marriage where it's, it's abusive. You know, it, it can be many different things where it's very extreme. So the process of speaking up for yourself and breaking free is going to be different for each relationship. And especially with the slave-master combo, there's some times where a person just needs to get out of it because the other person is so in the darkness that speaking up won't uh, change their their ways of action. So with this theme, understand that it's, it's very custom to what a person's going through. And the core theme is essentially breaking free and at the appropriate time, using speech to communicate what a person needs for themselves for to be a balanced, fair relationship. And as they do that, then they become aware of what true freedom really feels like, what true freedom really is, and what true collaboration is. And the process is to get out of a scenario that is imbalanced. And as they do that, there's a secret calling here to speak on behalf of those who can't. And that could be many different groups. It could be human groups that are oppressed. It could be animal groups. It's speaking on behalf of those who don't have a voice, which is incredibly, incredibly useful work in this world because there's a lot of wrongdoing that's going on. And there are groups of people or animals or things that don't have a voice. They need something outside. And this is the 17. This is what a part of your genius town. This is part of your life's greatest work. So let's take a look at examples of slave-master relationships. This could be the master, guru, teacher, slash student. It's essentially anywhere where one side gives up all their power willingly to the others. It could be in a romantic relationship. It could be a family relationship. It could be in a friendship. It could be in a business of here's, you know, here's the almighty person and I'm the uh, employee or a business. Here's the almighty mentor and I'm the, you know, the student. It's very important to have these, have relationships where, you know, there's greater expertise on one side 
This key resistance pattern is the giving up away of too much of one's own personal power. Basically giving that person, you know, basically giving the master the keys to the slave. So the slave needs to claim back their power by separating from the master. Master needs to understand that you don't need to control people and make them your slave to function. It's actually counterproductive. It's not getting what you want. So an important part of this is recognizing what healthy functioning relationships are, are like and that it doesn't have to be such a lopsided power balance. So a closing item on this is to keep in mind and contemplate the concept is that there's a time, there's a right time to speak, there's a right time to act, there's a right time to do nothing, and there's a right time to remain silent. And this is all about learning the balance. Because if you imagine in a very intense slave-master relationship, oftentimes where there's abuse, mental, emotional, physical abuse, it's not always the best time to speak up. And this 17 is about learning the optimal balance. Because essentially it's breaking free. And that's why it's so important in that breaking free process. There's a right time to speak. There's a right time to act. There's a right time to do nothing. And there's a right time to remain silent. It's learning the balance. And also, in a less extreme, but definitely as um, equally as important, in business, you know, it's, it's taking those time to speak up in the relationship. And that's actually what is needed to advance the relationship in the business or any relationship. So the resistance pattern will say, ah, don't speak up, you know, just hold it in. That's the limiting belief voice of the resistance pattern. When in actuality, there is the right time to speak up and the genius talent is knowing when that time is and how to speak clearly. And that actually advances the relationship forward. So the 17, use your best judgment and it's a practice of speaking up for yourself. And as you do that more and more, you can start connecting to your hidden power to speak on behalf of those who can't in a bigger sense.